Well, I think, you know, basically we are going to have relatively strong, uh, uh, strong data uh, at this morning. Uh, it's generally because of the low base last year. Uh, but in the meantime, I have to uh, acknowledge that overall speaking, China's economic momentum has been uh, uh, somewhat lost the momentum uh, since uh, April. So I think, you know, it looks like the post-COVID recovery has somewhat, you know, lose, lose speed, as you mentioned. Uh, probably we are going to see some relatively good numbers uh, for now, but going forward, we are concerned about economic momentum uh, from China. Where are you seeing the bright spot? Well, I think, you know, uh, if you look at the retail sales, maybe we can see some relatively uh, uh, good numbers, uh, continued recovery. Uh, but overall speaking, I think, you know, uh, the, uh, the economic momentum is still something, you know, we have to relatively worry about going forward. Uh, maybe we are going to see some kind of uh, good numbers uh, from uh, fixed set investment as well. Uh, but as we mentioned, uh, due to a low base, Q2 growth will look decent. Uh, but I think in, uh, from uh, second quarter, second half of this year, uh, we may, maybe we have to uh, worry about overall economic kind of uh, headline growth as well. Yeah, absolutely, because you have to, you know, no one operates in a vacuum. You have to worry about the external environment as well, because uh, even if the services sector, you know, retail sales and hospitality, leisure, gaming, all that has been benefiting from the reopening and pent up demand, the manufacturing sector is still at the whim of potentially lower demand from, uh, from outside. Is that a concern for you? Well, you're right. You know, basically, we, are, we have already seen that, you know, external sector does not. Uh, look great uh, in April. Uh, actually, in March, the data looks okay. Uh, but in April, basically, we have seen that uh, the export growth has uh, slowed uh, significantly. And in the meantime, you know, the global uh, economic momentum uh, also looks not relatively weak for now, especially from the manufacturing sector. So given all this kind of information for now, I think, you know, uh, for China, China definitely need to, you know, tap into the uh, domestic demand. But in the meantime, try to you know uh, boost the overall exports uh, via you know uh, different kind of uh, uh, policies. Especially one thing I think you know for China important is that China needs needs to diversify its export market, especially you know uh, from the ASEAN market going forward. Uh, so I think you know this is also important uh, given the uh, changing uh, geopolitical dynamics uh, uh, facing China for for now.